Now, uh, I don't know what happened to Cicero, but she had to jump off the <laughs> show, bro. I want y'all to see this story that I wanted Cicero to see as well, but she said she had an emergency, so family because she had to jump off the uh, show. But I, I don't know if y'all heard about the two dads that got arrested for shooting at each other. Um, they had road rage and they were shooting at each other and they shot each other's kids that was in the car. <gasps> no. Did y'all hear about that? Okay, no. well let me let me let me pull this story up. Let me pull this story up so y'all can y'all can check it out. <clears throat> because this shit is unbelievable. I mean, I'm just like I done seen it fucking all. Like these motherfuckers. Hmm. And I just why you pulling it up? I just want to say TSA agent. I ain't trying to get nobody in trouble. I wasn't trying to hurt nobody. You see, I left it in my Well, place. hey, they don't know when you went. They don't know what time you went. They don't know who the right. agent was. So, Except for when we got to L.A., I did pull it out. Why? Because we was on Hollywood Boulevard with a bunch of weird motherfuckers walking around. And I had my children with me. Now, I did that because if one of these motherfuckers even look or sniff in my kids' direction, yeah, I was going to fuck them up. And because we was in them Ubers, and because we was in California, and Cali California motherfuckers is crazy. They weird. And, hey, I had to protect my kids. I am top flight security of the world. I <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, let me play this to protect them At all costs. Well, let me play this story because a lot of times people haven't heard about things that happen around this world. So we're going to present it to you on the table. So I'm going to hit mute and play this little story. It's only a minute and 51 seconds, y'all. A News 4 Jax viewer sent a cell phone video as they drove past two men who were pulled over in Nassau County. And you can hear them yelling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can see several people standing outside multiple vehicles after two girls were shot. The Nassau County Sheriff's Office also released dashboard camera video recorded after the shooting. Give me a favor. Let's take care of your daughter. Just stay right here. Absolutely. Okay? I'm all about taking care. Oh look my God. Look at me. You're okay. As a deputy applies first aid to the daughter of one of the drivers, 43-year-old Frank Allison, he tries to explain. We're on our way home. <laughs> These two are from Georgia. They're oh, clay. Oh, it hurts. Clay. I know, sweetie. Oh. I would Bra never, Hold ever on. put her in this position. Bravo 1301, be advised, uh, advised by a rescue. They're going to have a trauma alert to a... Uh, do I have to run in the uh, ambulance? We have two patients. You. I was just going to start again. We just want to read you your rights so that way you are aware. Also on the dash cam video, a deputy reads the other driver, 35-year-old William Hale, his Miranda rights. Do I need to have an attorney? This is totally up to you. We're not going to be asking you any questions. We're just letting you know of your rights before so that way you understand. Yeah. Frank Allison and William Hale are now charged with attempted murder. Sheriff Bill Leeper says the two were driving erratically and brake checking, slamming on the brakes in front of each other. It's started on US-1 in Duval County and ended in Nassau. The five-year-old girl was shot in one vehicle with minor injuries. The 14-year-old was shot in the other. The teen went to the hospital with a collapsed lung. Can you believe that shit? Like, a collapsed lung? These, she had, yes, one of them had a collapsed lung. Like, both of these fools had road rage and they both started shooting at each other even though they both had kids in the back seat. And you know what? That that reminds me of these fools that fly. They just be flying, passing you, zipping in and out of traffic. And you got to slam on the brakes because there's a red light. And it's like, you happy? You went nowhere fast. Nowhere fast. They be speeding to get around you, and then y'all both get to the next light at the same time because traffic ain't really going nowhere. But I didn't had experiences where people have brake checked me. Like I don't know why, I like I did something, but they just want to play with you and they brake check you. 
I don't know because you remember that thing back in the day when people used to try to get insurance claims. Mm-hmm. They were trying to break check you so you could hit them, and then they file a insurance claim. Mm-hmm. You talking yeah. about back in the day? Hell, they still do it. Well, I'm just saying, that was a big thing though back in the day. It was like a big, big uh, insurance scam. Damn. Yeah, that a lot of people used to do back in the day, but. Where's the volume go? Or is that my phone? Somebody. Tanya, you're muted. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, fuck that. You like <laughs> people be brain checking you. Like you, if you hit them and they try to say you liable, then you got to go back and forth, back and forth, trying to prove what they really did. And that's why you should always have a camera in your car. Yeah, they don't even cost that much. They don't even cost that much. You can put them onto your rear view mirror thing or window, and you know the the class. What do you call that thing? It just stick on there the suction cup or whatever. You know, mm. put it on your window and record everything. They even got the three sixty ones. Like a lot of people who do Uber, um, they have the three sixty cam. So or is it the one? I think it's called one eighty cam, and it like records what's in your car. And also what's outside of your car for your safety. So mm-hmm. I think everybody should have a dash cam in their car for situations like that. But they Mine look- two cameras and one points to the front and the other one point. I mean, you put it on the back. And yep. So that yep. On the back. And they lucky. They are so lucky. Like the little girl, the five year old, she got shot in the leg. And the well, they were nine and fourteen. They said nine and fourteen. Yeah, the the youngest girl, she got shot in the leg. Um, And then the, uh, uh, actually, they said she was five. They said she was five. I'm reading the article now. So it might have, I don't know if it sounded like nine, but in the article it says she was five. But I don't know, five or nine, it don't matter. But she was shot in the leg, and then the other one suffered from a class one. That's crazy. All of that. And, And what did you get? Just trying to cut each other off. Yeah, trying to cut each other off, break checking each other, trying to, what do you call it, Karma Diva? You said it in the last story where everybody's like, they're trying to be like, have the biggest balls or trying to, you said something that uh, was something like that. But, you know, they're trying to see who got the bigger, I don't know. I I don't know exactly what, what that phrase is called. But you know what I'm talking about. Like well, they right trying to now, like they, they both men, team. they both men, they just trying to see, you know, who they have uh, a pissing contest. That's what you call that's what you said, a pissing contest. Thank you, thank you. That's what they yeah. were doing, having a pissing contest by trying to cut each other off and break checking each other. They was flipping each other off, giving each other the middle finger. Uh, one of them threw a plastic bottle, water bottle at the other one, and then one of them grabbed a 45. <laughs> And it's like, okay, so y'all y'all driving and you mad and this and that. So what? Go on past that person and keep moving. There was I just read a story last night or this morning where this uh white dude, this black pastor, they was uh having road rage and going back and forth with each other and the pastor pulled over. And I can't remember why he pulled over, but he pulled over. Why do pulls over, comes over, pow, shoots the pastor in the head and walks off. This man was a pastor at a, a church. He had, he lived behind a wife, four kids and 10, no, two kids and 10 grandkids. Now you did all of that. You took, said, this no, you took this man's life, and for what? <clears throat> now you ain't gonna be able to drive no fucking where. But the fact that they had kids in the car, bro, they had kids in the car, and they said, I'm reading another story, and they did say the girl was five, and they said she got oh, shot God. in the leg, and then the other 14 year old, she was, she got a collapsed lung. 
And they said, oh, my God, that is just, like, what if they would have murdered each other's kids? Like, all because y'all having a pissing contest. That's commonly, commonly we call a pissing contest. 